Hey, Jason here from Theme Punch. So one of the really cool things that you can do with Slider Revolution is create a slider that's based on your posts. So for example, you could have maybe three or four slides, and each of those slides would represent an article from your blog. And so what we could do is inside the slider, we could show the article's title, we could show the featured image for the article, and then also maybe a portion of the content. And then what we could do is we could hyperlink from that slide item to the actual article. So it's a really cool way of adding a slider to your home page to maybe tell uh, your visitors, hey, check out the latest and greatest articles uh, from my blog. So let's just go ahead and review that post that we were just looking at here. And so we have our title, we have some content, and we have a featured image here toward the bottom right. And then I've gone ahead and I've assigned some categories and a tag to this post. And categories and tags are how we're going to pull these posts into our slider once we create it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we head over to the sliders admin. I'm going to create a new slider. And then I'm going to choose post base slider. And there are a lot of options here for fetch posts by. I could choose related, popular, uh, most recent posts, but I'm going to stick with categories and tags. And then for the categories and tags, I'm going to choose nature and education. And I just want to review this real quick with you. So this is an or relationship. And what that means is we're going to pull in any post with the category of nature or any post that has a tag of education. So you can see right here, we actually have two posts with a nature category and three posts with a tag of education. So if we head back to our post list, we can see these are listed right here on the right. And so here we have education for three of them and then nature for two of them. And what's cool about this is anytime I add a new post with a category of nature or a tag of education, it will automatically get pulled into the slider that we create right here. So the next thing I'm going to do is sort post by. And instead of post ID, I'm going to choose date because I want these to be chronological. And then for max posts, instead of 30, I want the maximum amount of posts to ever be pulled into the slider to be five. So we'll set that to five. And then as with any slider, you have to go ahead and give it a title and an alias. So I'm going to title this my post based slider and post based slider. Okay, so now we can save that and we'll officially create our slider here. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is select Featured Image. And what this will do is it'll make sure that we pull in the featured image that we have assigned right down here as the slider's main background. So this is really all we need to do to create a post-based slider and actually have it show up on one of our web pages. So I just saved the slide. If we head back to the slider settings, I can copy the short code right here, and then I can add this to my home page right here. And if we just view this from the front end, you can see here is our slider. So it's really just a background image and nothing else. So let's go ahead and add some navigation, some arrows, maybe some bullets. And because my home page is set up to be full screen, I'm going to set full screen for this as well. And then we can save that. And now we should have, here we go. We have some navigation. We can see we have three posts being pulled into the slider and the featured image for each of those posts. So let's go ahead and add the post title to our slider as well. And we can do that by heading back to the slide editor and anytime you add any kind of post content to a post-based slider, 
It's going to be right down here toward the layer editor. And if you just choose add layer text HTML, you can delete what's already there. And then go ahead and click this middle icon right here that's yellow. And this will pull up the meta dialog, which allows you to go ahead and enter any of the available options for post meta. So you can see we have title, excerpt, uh, content, link, date, all kinds of things. So let's go ahead and choose title. And then we can click the green icon here. And let's bump this up to 96 with a line height of 96 also. And let's just save that and see what it looks like on the front end. Okay, so we can see the title here, but it's not really showing up how we want it to. If you look toward our editor here, we had it toward the top left corner. And here, it's kind of over to the right a little bit, and it's definitely bleeding off the screen. So let's go ahead and fix that. The first thing we can do is we can head over to behavior right here. And in a line, we can change this from grid-based to slide-based. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell the slider to align this layer to the entire slider as opposed to just the layers grid. So if we save this now, we should see this more toward the left. Here we go. Okay, so now we want this to break into multiple lines. And to do that, what we can do is we can add a maximum width here of let's say 500. And then we can choose the auto line break option. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so maybe 500 was too small. How about 800? And that should look a little bit better. Cool. Okay, so we have our title here in the top left corner. Let's see our other titles for our other slides. Sweet. So let's go ahead and hyperlink these slides. So a visitor could just click it and go right to that article. So to do that, we have a couple of choices. The first thing we could do is we could hyperlink just the title here. And to do that, we could head into the actions and choose a click action with a simple link. And then the trick for this is two open parentheses with the word link and two close parentheses. And then link target, same window, link type. I like to choose a tag link that's a little bit better for SEO. So let's see what this looks like now. And here we have this title linked. And there we go, it goes right to the article. Cool. Okay, so what if we wanted to link the entire slide to the article and not just the title here? Well, what we could do is we could do that right from the link and SEO section up here in the main settings. But first, let's just remove this link from the title here. And then we can head into the link and SEO settings for the actual slide, change enable link to enable. Link type is going to be regular. And then slide link is exactly what we added for the layer. And if you forgot what that was, it's also right here. So that's two open parentheses, link, two close parentheses, a link target, same window or new window. We'll leave it at same window for now. And then link sensibility, front or back, basically means do we want the hyperlink to show up on top of all of the layer content or behind it? So I guess this would be relevant if you wanted to hyperlink the entire slide, but then you had some layer content that possibly hyperlinked elsewhere, maybe like a Facebook or Twitter icon or something like that. So we're going to leave this at front for now because we really just want the user to be able to click anywhere on the slide and then just be taken to the article. And there we go. Okay, so let's just explore a couple more options. If we hit into add layer, text HTML, 
let's go ahead and add some content. So if we choose content words, and then maybe change this to 20, this will give us sort of like uh, a brief paragraph or two from the actual content that we had from the post here. So let's go ahead and align this toward the bottom. Let's see, layer align bottom, and we'll have it offset to 100 just like the title. And we can even have the same Y offset of 100 as well just so it looks nice and symmetrical to the title. Okay, and then for the font size, maybe, I don't know, maybe 36 and line height uh, 54. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so we definitely need to adjust this. So let's go ahead back into behavior and let's change this from align grid based to slide based. And then for the style, for the width here, let's give it a width of 800. And then also we have auto line break turned on, so that's good. Cool, so it's showing up a lot better now toward the bottom left can see we have our title at the top, we have a brief description of the content toward the bottom for each of these posts. Excellent. So there are a lot of other options that you could add here inside this meta dialog. And I'll let you play with them on your own, but just to give you some ideas, they're all right here. So the last thing I want to share with you is all of what we've been doing here has been based on one individual slide template here. And so we set up our individual slide with a template that basically says pull in the title and show it here, pull in the content and show it here. But we could add additional slides, maybe with some different content or maybe with the actual content styled differently and then the slider would just rotate between those additional slide templates. So for example, let's go ahead and just duplicate this slide template here. And then if we head over to the second slide, let's head down to our title and let's just change the color here to red, just so we can see something different. Save the slide and now we test this, the first slide shows a white title and if we go to the second slide it's red. And so this would just rotate back and forth between the two slide templates. So another thing that's really cool is we can create a slide template and then apply that slide template to a specific post. So before we do that I'm just going to go ahead and rename these slides so it's a little bit easier. So we've got slide one, and then we've got slide two. And then if I head back into my posts, we've got three posts being pulled into the slider right now, and they're all with the education tag. So I'm just going to edit each one. And you may have already seen this if you're editing your posts or pages. Right down here, revolution slider options, choose slide template. So what we can do is we can choose uh, slide one or slide two for each of these posts and that's how we would assign a specific post based slider template to a specific post. So for this post let's go ahead and choose uh, slide two and this is explore the science let's just remember that one. Uh, for this one let's choose slide one and same thing down here, slide one. Now, if you just look real quick at the list here, it says slide zero and then slide one. The zero and the one are actually the index for these slides. So that's why renaming them is gonna help us choose wisely. So I'm gonna choose slide one here, then update that. 
And now, so explore the science that nature has to offer with this featured image should have our slide two template with the red title text. So let's just check our slider and see if that's the case. Here we go, we have our red text being applied to this specific post. And then for the others, we have the first slider template. So this is just a really cool way of saying, okay, I want to show specific content in a specific style for this specific post being pulled into my post base slider. So I hope this helped you get some ideas of how you can set up a post base slider for your website. And as always, good luck with your projects and thanks for watching.